everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. Today I'm very excited to break down the Beatles' 1967 classic, All You Need Is Love. We're going to be able to strengthen all areas of our guitar playing as I break down the tunes you need chord progressions, strumming patterns, and lead lines. Before we get started though, I want to introduce to you an awesome opportunity from our friends at DistroKid. This is a company that provides you with a very fast, affordable, and easy means of distributing your original, but also your cover music across all major music platforms like iTunes, Pandora, uh, Spotify, the list goes on and on. So this is kind of one of the most uh, major ways of being able to grow as a solo artist and get your name out there. You have to get your music placed alongside the biggest names in music. To do this now, it's as easy as going to distrokid.com slash VIP slash Swift. I've been able to negotiate a discount for you guys. Uh, once you're signed up, you can upload unlimited amounts of music. They don't take any kind of cut. That's one of the most amazing things about this service. So go get your music out to the masses, perhaps beginning with your cover of All You Need Is Love. Now let's get started with that lesson. One, two, three. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. Nothing you can sing that can't be sung Nothing you can say But you can learn how to play the game It's easy There's nothing you can make that can't be made No one you can say that can't be saved Nothing you can do But you can learn how to be you in time It's easy Nothing you can see that isn't shown Nowhere you can be that isn't where you were meant to be It's easy Okay, close look at the fretboard and also my pick in hand. We're in standard tuning in the key of G. We're getting started with the first part of the intro where we're going to be replacing some horn lines and strings for a little bit of picking. It sounds like this. A one, two, three. <laughs> ourselves to a G major chord. Okay, let's break that up into two parts. The first one's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was zero, zero on the D, zero, zero on the G, then go to the A note, second fret, third fret of the B, open B, open G. Right, that's the first phrase of that intro. Now, the second phrase is gonna sound like this. Okay, so we have the G string, open B string, open G, second fret of the D string, 
Then we're gonna grab that C note, first fret of the B. Then second fret of the G string, back to that A. Reach your pinky out to the fourth fret of the D string. All right, and then transition to the G chord. Okay, you put all that together, we have. Okay, tremendous. We have that picking down. Now we're moving into the next part of the intro where we're going to be singing love, love, love over the verse chords. I'm going to demonstrate that for you, uh, just the guitar, and ask you to follow along using the chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. So the G major chord gets us started. Uh, one thing I want to mention just before I jump in, that uh, this is kind of crazy because it's going to be switching back and forth between 4-4 four, four, and 3-4, but it's still very easy to play. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay, breaking that down, I'm gonna put the chords on the screen. You can follow along using the chord sheet. Line number one, we're gonna have the G major chord for two beats. Then we're gonna have D slash F sharp, technically D sus four slash F sharp. Okay, very cool busker's chord. The pointer finger on the F sharp note on the E string, the middle finger on the A note on the second fret of the G. The ring finger and the pinky stayed put from the G chord. So one, two, and three, four, and. All right, next, we're gonna take these two fingers and put them into E minor position. Second fret of the A and second fret of the D. And we're gonna strum down, down, up. And then do zero, two on the D string. Okay, that E minor chord is in three, four time, whereas the other chords were in four, four time. One, two, and three, Four and one, two and three and one, two and three, four, one, two and three. All right, once you've done that twice and you've gotten through the first two lines. La, 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 la. the A minor chord for two beats. A G major chord for two beats. The D major chord for two beats. And a D7 chord, flipping it backwards for two beats. All right, so that would sound like this, from the A minor. On the D7 chord, I like to strum down, up, down, up. All right, then we're gonna have this great walk down section here. This part is gonna include a little riff. D major chord. C nine chord. All right, use that diagram on the screen there. And then this great riff over G slash B. In three, four time. Okay, so that was. Two, three, open D. And then zero two on the D string. Okay, so from the D chord. And then get yourself right back to the G chord for verse number one. All right, let's play through all that intro part there as soon as we come in singing love. A one, two, three, four. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love Down, down, down There's nothing you can do that can't be done All right, now you know how to play verse number one. The G chord comes back in. Nothing you can sing that can't be sung The A minor Nothing you can say But you can learn how to play the game and then your walk down section, it's easy. Nothing you can make that can't be made. So 
on and so forth, you can do the same thing for verse number two. Okay, congrats everybody, you have the intro and the verse down. Now let's jump into the chorus section. Here we're going to have the G major chord for two beats. The A7 chord for two beats. The D major chord for two beats. And the D7 chord for two beats. We're going to do that twice through. G chord uh, starts us off. All you need is... Then the progression changes. G major chord. All you B7 chord need is E minor. Here we're going to do it uh, kind of in the standard position. Love. Take your pinky, put it on the B string, third fret. Love. That's E minor 7. Then C, D, G. Love is all you need. And that last G chord is going to be three beats, three, four time uh, transitioning. Okay, that entire thing. We have the G chord starting us off with the chorus. G. All you need is love. G. A7. D. Down, up, down, up, G. B7. E minor. Pinky. C. D. A one. And then, up next, we have the instrumental section, which is played over the verse chords, but George is gonna have some very cool uh, bend-in licks there. Okay, up next, I'm gonna take you through George's bend-in licks, but I'm also going to show you some little tricks that you can throw in to emulate what the strings are doing after those licks have been completed. So, uh, this part is going to sound like this. A one, two, three. <laughs> My licks. Just like that. Okay, so for this section, I'm pulling from that iconic live performance that's out there, um, and also the album version. It's gonna start off here on the seventh fret of the G string, then bend the B string 10th fret up, and then pick it back down again. Then go down a whole step to the eighth fret and bend in return. And that last little phrase there, we're going to bend it up, return it again just like we did before, and then go to the fifth fret of the B string. Some guitar players uh, find it easier to get to that same exact note, E, on the G string ninth fret. Okay, choice is yours. Okay, so one more time, what you have so far sounds like this. One, two, three. Now the next phrase is gonna be almost the exact same thing. It's gonna sound like this. So we plucked a few extra times and the timing was a little bit different. Two plucks of the seventh fret of the G string. Nice and short. All right, then 10th fret, B string, bending it up a whole step and bringing it back down, plucking twice. Now you're gonna do the same exact thing on the eighth fret. Then, bend and return without plucking a second time. Then going down to the fifth fret of the B string, that E note, just like we did before. All right, you put all that together, we have. At this point, the guitar drops out and the strings take over. Here's something that you can do to replace that part if you're playing in a band uh, and you don't have a string section. Okay, so at this point, the A minor, G, D major, D dominant seven, progression is coming in. So we're going to find those chords and add in a little bit of the melody of the strings into those chord shapes. So it's going to sound like this one more time. I find myself in A minor. 
I'm on the eighth fret position, eighth fret high E string, 10th fret B string, middle finger goes to the ninth fret of the G string. Down strum, up stroke with the pinky down on the 10th fret high E, and then remove it. I'm gonna do the same thing finding my G major chord. It's gonna be a D shape on the seventh fret. My pinky does the rest of the work there, going up to the eighth fret high E string. Then, I'm going to grab myself D major by putting my pointer finger on the A uh, note on the fifth fret of the high E string, ring finger, seventh fret of the B string, and my middle finger here on the G string, seventh fret as well. After that, I'm taking my pinky and putting it on the seventh fret of the high E string. So it's basically the same technique being applied to three different chords. A minor, G major, D major, D7. Okay, so I haven't shown you that yet. Uh, now I'm barring across three strings, fifth fret, G, B, and the high E string, and I have the seventh fret of the B string. That is D7, a little piece of our D7 bar chord. All right, so we have A minor, G major, D major, D7. And then after that, you can join the band for the big walk down on the D major chord. C at nine. And getting into the chorus. Okay, so pretty easy song. All the verses are played the same exact way, all the choruses are played the exact same way. There's only one more section that I need to show you, and that's just kind of my take on the outro, Love Is All You Need. Okay, congrats everybody. You have the intro, the verse, the chorus, and George's wild bending licks down. Now we're ready to get to the end of the tune. Um, here at the end of the song we have a double chorus. And at the end of that double chorus, we're gonna have an outro. It sounds like this. A one, two, three, four, G. Love is all you need. And love is all you need. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. And you can keep that going for as long as you want. Just really jam out on it with the band. So basically the way I do that, uh, you could just go uh, G major, D major. But I like the tonality of this D add nine chord here. So I'm going G, one, two, and then jump in my fingers over. The ring and the pinky are going up a whole step to the fifth frets of the B and high E string. And the middle finger, I'm sure you can see it on camera, is going to the fifth fret of the A. The pointer finger is on the fourth fret of the D. Beautiful chord shape. That's all you need to do to wrap this thing up. Congrats everybody, you're ready to perform. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on the Beatles, All You Need Is Love. Thanks so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. And thanks so much to my friends at DistroKid for hooking us up. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.